the world's largest river, the Amazon. Its abundant flow carries nutrients along the river basin lined by primeval forests, melted by the high temperature and extreme humidity of the equatorial region. The area covered by these forests is about ten times the land area of France. Now, a new age has dawned for these slumbering forests. In the latter part of the 1960s, Jari Florestal in the Agropecuaria Limitada, a Brazilian company engaged in agricultural and forestry development, obtained three million acres of land along the Jari River, located about 400 kilometers upstream from the mouth of the Amazon. This company, known as Jari for short, has since carried out comprehensive agricultural and forestry projects. extensively planted malina and Caribbean pine, which grow rapidly under the equatorial conditions of high temperature, abundant rainfall and extreme humidity. After planting, the malina saplings grow into mature trees in seven or eight years. Jara completed the cycle from planting to the felling of the trees then considered the effective use of these forestry resources. After studying the world demand, Jari judged that the most rational plan would be to process craft pulp at the site and to export it. The company therefore decided to establish a pulp plant there. A major problem was that the proposed construction site was situated in a region of heavy rainfall. When the river rises during the rainy season, the greater part of the forest become inundated. There was also a lack of electric power supply needed to build the plant together with the infrastructure, such as cargo handling facilities for heavy machinery and equipment, and roads. Although the Jari River is a good waterway for the transport of materials, there is a great difference in the water level between the rainy and dry seasons, making it difficult to move materials on a constant basis throughout the year. It was also difficult in this region to obtain a large number of skilled workers required to build the plant. Given these problems, it appeared almost impossible, if conventional methods were employed, to complete the construction of the plant as scheduled. ...to schedule within a short period of time. The industrial platform system, in other words the IP system, is a new plant construction system that IHI succeeded in developing. In the IP system, the machinery and equipment of the plant are assembled and the plant completed on a platform in a shipyard, where there are high levels of technology, superb facilities and experienced workers. The platform is then towed to the operations site. There, it can be put into operation by either being moored on water or installed on land. By activating the IP system, IHI embarked on the construction of the world's largest single-line craft pulp plant, 
with a production capacity of 750 tons per day. According to the conventional method, a vast tract of land, such as shown here, was needed for a plant with a daily production capacity of 750 tons of pulp. But effective use of space through efficient design was essential for the plant intended for Jari. How could the machinery for a huge plant be assembled on the platform without changing the capacity of the component machines or the overall performance of the plant? In order to solve these problems, intensive studies were carried out. time the platform could not be too large when the cost for construction and towing were considered. Following repeated studies it was decided to divide the plant into two parts, the pulp processing plant and another section combining the power and chemical recovery units and to install them on two platforms. It was also decided to install the platforms on a foundation, on land, at the operations site. Because the two platforms would be towed across oceans for three months, studies were conducted on the stability of the platforms and the strength of the machines against pitching and rolling during towing. Prior to actual designing, different tests took place these included model tests in the seakeeping and maneuvering tanks at IHI's Research Institute of Platform Motion Behavior on the High Seas. Measurements were also taken in resistance tanks of the platform's directional stability performance and propulsion resistance. From the data obtained in the tests and meteorological information on the proposed route, a theoretical analysis was completed to assure navigational safety. Strength and stability design criteria were determined so that the plant equipment loaded on the platforms and its foundations and reinforcements could withstand pitching and rolling. This is the pulp plant platform carrying the main component for pulp manufacturing. This platform has a total length of 230 meters, width of 45 meters, and total weight of about 30,000 tons. IHI made full use of its advanced industrial technology and shipbuilding experience to arrange the various machines compactly and effectively on the platform. The power plant platform carries power generator and chemical recovery units. This platform has a total length of 220 meters, width of 45 meters, and weight of about 30,000 tons.
The construction of the pulp plant by this IP system was realized through close collaboration between IHI's shipbuilding division and the Overland Plants Division. In constructing the huge platforms, the ultra-advanced technology used to build mammoth tankers was fully applied. The same superb engineering used in creating a modern marine engine room was adopted in designing the layout of the pulp and power plant's equipment and its installation on the platforms. In order to complete the installation of the multi-story plant machinery and equipment in the shortest possible time, the block construction and unit outfitting methods were employed wherever possible. The individual blocks of components were transported to the Kuei shipyard and installed on the platform. project in such a short period of time was made possible only by the application of IHI's highly sophisticated shipbuilding technology. In other words, the block construction and unit outfitting methods. This is the pulp and power plant platforms, and only the internal work remaining to be completed. shipyard so as to ensure the high quality of the plant. The only work at the operations site would be to connect the two platforms to each other and then to the land-based facilities. were conducted to confirm the performance of the plant's machinery. Strict 
inspection was carried out by a third party team to check the structure of the platforms and to confirm that the machinery and equipment would fully meet the towing conditions. As corrosion due to various chemicals could be anticipated, a long-life anti-corrosive system with inorganic zinc silicate paint in combination with epoxy resin paint was applied on all the steel structured components of the platforms and plant equipment. In this way, the entire construction work in Japan came to an end. The platforms were completed in only two years from the signing of the contract. February the 1st, 1978. The power plant platform started out on its long voyage to Brazil, towed by a 16,000 horsepower ocean tugboat. February the 10th by the departure of the pulp plant platform for Brazil, towed by a 22,000 horsepower ocean tugboat. The three-month voyage began from Korea, Japan, across the East China Sea and Indian Ocean, around the Cape of Good Hope, then the South Atlantic, and finally the Amazon River in Brazil, a voyage of 25,000 kilometers. Operations were busily underway at the Jari operations site. Foundation work to set the platforms on land were being carried out. The geological conditions of the site were taken into consideration. Wooden piles of a special hard wood, Masaranduba, are to settle on top of the piles. The arrangement of the piles was decided by the weight distribution and structural strength of the platforms. Construction was also advanced on the land-based units, such as the water treatment facilities, chemical plant and chip storage yard to be connected with the platforms. April 28, 1978, the imposing site of the power plant platform makes its appearance on the Jari River, 87 days after its departure from Japan. This is the first time in the world that such a huge plant has been turned 25,000 kilometers 
across the high sea. The power plant platform arrived. As scheduled, at the operation site. Such equipment as the recovery boiler and lime kiln showed absolutely no change from the time they left Japan. In order to be set on the foundation piles, the power plant platform is to be guided by a bulldozer towards the approach channel. towards the approach channel. The safe turn of both the power and pulp plant platforms on schedule was made possible by IHI's long years of shipbuilding experience and technology. the motion behavior of the platforms, stress, and meteorological and marine phenomena were measured by ship motion recorders installed on the platforms. The data verified that the design of the platforms met all requirements, and the foundations and reinforcements of the plant equipment were also sufficient. float the platforms and move them into place over the wooden piles, the gate of the approach channel is closed. to float the platforms and move them over the foundation piles for installation. Then the water is discharged. The platforms settle slowly and carefully on the foundations and are secured in place. is moved by a bulldozer to the top of the foundation pile, now underwater. Next, the pulp plant platform is moved. The ballast tank is filled with water, and the platform is installed on the submerged foundation pile with a precision well within the planned tolerance value. The water has been discharged.
Now both the power and pulp plant platforms are securely fixed in place. Next, in order to start operation, the two platforms are coupled and connected with the land-based units. The liner trees, now fully mature, are felled to become chips. thousand tons of chips are necessary to produce 750 tons of pulp daily. The pulp wood that has been felled is transported to the log yard by a railway line extending 250 kilometers. wood is sawn into fixed length and then sent to the drum barker. After the bark is stripped by the drum barker, the wood is turned into chips. Next, the size of the chips is made uniform by a chip screen. units including the chipyard, chemical plants and water treatment facilities are connected with the platforms. The pulp plant is ready to go into operation. It was on this day that the pulp plant started production. This was a short period of three years between the signing of the contract and the start of production. Thus, the pulp plant was completed with the integrated knowledge and technology of IHI, together with the combined strength of the manufacturers concerned in Japan and abroad. One month after the start of operation, production of bleach pulp began. In four months, the originally planned production capacity was attained. The IP system, developed by IHI, had greatly reduced the time for the construction of such a pulp plant. It also stepped up production at a high pace undreamed of in the past. The vast, but as yet, untapped forest reserves of Brazil's giant Amazon basin are now being newly commercialized as pulp. This will expand Brazil's export capacity, elevate its level of technology, and contribute to the nation's economic strength. The industrial platform system, developed by Ishikawa Jima Harima Heavy Industries Company Limited, makes plant construction speedy and economical, even for underdeveloped regions of the world, which are lacking the infrastructure, 
that where industrialization is an urgent necessity.